In this video, we want to look at how to create a manual journal. So let's go to general accounting from the springboard. That's after we log in as our user. So I'm going to select general accounting and select journals. So the first thing you want to observe is that you are in the right data set. So I'm currently using my Acme Ledger US as my data access set. So I'm going to go to my task task panel and I want to select create journal so this is the create journal page and I want to enter my journal details I could if I wanted to enter a batch or a single journal and, and for a batch that means I'll have multiple journals that I want to enter in the same batch so at the moment, I'll just leave the batch section as is. I want to change the accounting period to, let me just make it January. And if I want to add an attachment, I can include an attachment and other journal actions. If I wanted to add them, I can. So let's go straight to the journal details. So I'm going to enter my journal name. So that's the header of my journal. I'm going to call it monthly adjustment and I'll just call it Jan 18 monthly adjustment for January as a description so the ledgers that I have access to will show but I'm going to select my Acme US ledger default currency that I'm using as well is US dollars and then I have my date category is going to be adjustment so I can create my own category if I wanted to but I'm going to use adjustment as my category so let's enter the account details so if I slightly expand the width I'll be able to see my list of values for my flex field to enter my combination so my company is 3251 which is my Acme Cupertino Sherry's line of business I'll make it none I can also default these values by changing my chart of accounts default values in my segments so my account, I'm going to search and then use a miscellaneous account. So let's search. And select advanced. And I'm going to say description contains, you have various options. MISC. Search. So let's look for the account segment with miscellaneous expenses so for my cost center let's put this to R&D so there's various cost centers I can even search for my cost center so I'm going to put it to R&D US product none if you know the combination, you can actually type in the combination or accept um, the default if you've got defaults in there, which I will show you in another video. So click on OK. So that's my account combination. And 2000. So let's add another line. I can put a line description here. This is let's say Jan Jan 18 adjustment. Let's go to the next line. So let's actually demonstrate copying and pasting value. just paste the value if you already have one in there um, and you can also click on the list of values to see what's been populated so I can 
accept this. So I'm doing an adjustment between one cost center and another, and also between one revenue account and another. So let's cancel this and enter 2000 Jan 18 adjustment. So you have also have an option to look at real time projected balances. It's none at the moment. So what I can do right now is save it. And if I wanted to, I could complete and create another. So let's just click on complete because I'm going to post it directly. So once it's completed, I can either post and create another or I could just post. So let me just post. And that will kick off the journal posting program. And once that's completed, our journal will be posted. So that's how to create a journal. So let's have a look and see if that's completed. Let's search for our journal, manage journals, and I'm going to select accounting period equals January, January 18 and search. So that's my journal. You can see the back status is posted monthly adjustment for January 18. So that's my journal posted in January 18. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.